assist with my identification? ID. ID. I need ID. I'm the heavyweight champion, man. I'm, I'm here for the UPW show. Samoa Joe, ever heard of me? I'm sorry, sir. They told me I... Do you, wait, wait, wait. Do you think I wear this thing at a 7-Eleven? I mean, come on, man. I'm, I'm, that's a belt. I'm a, I'm a wrestler here. It's a nice-looking belt, but I'm sure it needs to see some ID. ID. Fair enough, man. Just let it. Maybe remember our face next time, boy. Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> Title shot? Great! Who do I got? Who do I got? Heavyweight title match against Samoa Joe! Oh, I've been waiting for this ever since that punk turned on me anyways. For the title? Even better. That's right, and I know you're going to beat him. That's exactly why I got it for you. I'll be ready in a couple minutes. Heavyweight Championship! That's right, baby. Introducing first the challenger, accompanied to the ring by Savvy. Weighing 251 pounds, he is one half of the Urban Outlaw, the Outlaw, Mike Knox. Show looks good to me. Yeah, I like to do the two step with her, Doc. And uh, this match would be nothing. And his opponent from the American champion. Samoa, weighing 260 pounds. He is the reigning UPW heavyweight champion, Samoa Joe. If you all could quiet down for a moment, I'd like to talk to Mike man to man. Come on. Mike, I've beaten Tommy Dreamer. Yes. I've beaten Sean O'Hare. Totally beat him. Hell, they say I, ro I ran Rob Van Dam out of UPW. Straight out the door. Mike, if you think you have a chance in hell at beating me mm. for this title, well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you this option. You can take your cowboy hat, And the fans of the UPW Arena have spoken, folks. He'll wait outside As for I was saying, one of them. You can take your cowboy hat, you can take your hog whip, and most importantly, you can take your whore Whoa. and get the hell out of it. Oh! It looks like that's all that needed to be said for Mike Knox to go buck wild. On Samoa Joe. I don't think that was the right thing for Samoa Joe to say, but and I what? don't think he cares. I don't think he cares either. These two guys are going fist to fist. Oh, man, Samoa Joe. Oh, what a thrust kick. And Mike Knox comes right back with a forearm blow. You could just feel the bad blood between Samoa and Joe and outlaw Mike Knox. And it goes far back, Doc. You know that. Oh, oh. man, did you hear the impact there? Folks, these are... Did you forget me? Heavyweight Championship, Samoa Joe. Oh, man, looks like Samoa Joe may have uh, been knocked a little groggy earlier in this match. And Mike Knox is just not 
Oh, man. You Mike know, Knox. Samoan Joe has a really huge beef with Outlaw Mike Knox. He was the weak link of that tag team. You know it, Doc. I know it. Samoan Joe went on for bigger and better things as the UPW Heavyweight Champion. Well, I have to agree with you there, but right now, Mike Knox is taking it to the champion. And uh, definitely has been showing me something here. Don't get me wrong. Mike Knox is an awesome athlete. The guy can fly. Man, he's but Samoan Joe... Oh, oh man, not. beautiful leg drop off the top. Samoa Joe looks like uh, he might have gotten his nose busted open here. Hooks the leg. Mike, Mike Knox hooks the leg. And, uh, you know, love him or hate him. This kid, this kid Mike Knox has been nothing but pure fire since the beginning of this matchup. And now Samoa Joe, very wisely, just very like the wisely. Just veteran he is, goes outside, take a little break. He doesn't need to sit in there. He's the champion. And uh, meanwhile, in the house, outlaw Mike Knox getting the crowd support here in the UPW arena. All these ungrateful donkeys in the crowd right now. Disrespecting the champion. Disrespecting him. Samoa Joe finally making his way back into the ring. Here we go. Reversal on the Irish whip. He gets him up. Oh, what a spine buster. Huge. And once again, oh, Samoa Joe with a nice drop toe hold. There he goes. Oh, shit. Did you see how hard he drove? He's oh. out. He's out. Incredible, brother. Incredible. I, I'm not even going to say anything about that oh. one, Doc. All I can say is I hope the EMTs are still in the building because we may need them after this match is over with. Samoa Joe, oh, what a mafia kick, man, right to the face. He just turned himself on number 12, Doc. Well, he's showing why he is the UPW World Heavyweight Championship holder. He, uh... Let's he, face it, he, he was right. Has, he definitely has the size and the strength, and uh, I'll tell you right now, that mafia kick caught me by surprise because it shows he has got... I don't see how the that flexibility. I don't see how that catches you by surprise. He was right in his promo in the beginning of the match. He has run Chris Daniels out of town. He has run Rob Van Dam out of town. Tommy Dreamer was a blink. Oh man! Once again, there is no doubt. There is no doubt that worldwide the skills of Samoa Joe are well known. But uh, like you also said a little bit earlier in this match, it's a little bit personal between Samoa Joe and Mike Knox. So maybe Mike Knox might be able to pull something out. But, you know, as Highly usual, doubtful, my money's on Doc. the champ. Highly doubtful. My money's still on the champ, but I'm looking for something good for, uh, for Mike Knox. Like I said, Outlaw Mike Knox is a great athlete, but he's no Samoan Joe. Samoan yeah. Joe is a huge superstar in Japan. Samoan Joe is all over the Orient with... He's unstoppable right now, Doc. Apparently so. The Corbett Clutch, solidly locked in. Takes him out. Oh, oh man. Uranagi, Uranagi judo throw right to the mat. And he just thrusted him into the mat with that one. Exactly. Uh-oh. Could this be? Oh, man. Oh! He just tangled him. Oh, no. Oh! Now, that's improvisation, folks. That's got to be it. Oh, Mike Knox once again slides out the side in two. Samoa Joe trying to get Mike Knox up and over. Lost his balance and had to turn uh, that crucifix attempt into a, a hangman's neckbreaker. And now, Mike Knox, who's been taking a hell of a beating for quite a while. Oh, man, they both get head first and clothesline. Oh! Oh, no. Looked like Simone Joe might have hurt his arm there. Oh, my goodness. Look at the he power. Oh! Look at the power of Mike Knox. He literally caught Samoa Joe, who runs close to, two fit, to 270. Excuse me. Runs close to 270. Where he, Knox is getting this, I don't know, Doc. Can he do it? He rolls over for the cover. No way. The fatigue is setting in right now on both guys. Well, both these guys are big, strong, young men. And it looks like uh, Knox calling. Oh, what a clothesline. Took him and out of his Samoan here. shoes. The fans here 
solidly behind Mike Knox, but it's not enough. Samoa Joe still able to get his shoulder up at two. I think he could pull out his six shooter, give him six slugs in the head, and Samoa Joe's still gonna kick out. Well, Mike Knox, Mike Knox has taken a beating. He came on strong early, he's taken a beating, and now he's coming back. Let's hope he doesn't end up just frustrated. Oh, Samoa Joe with an open hand. Oh, no. Oh, what a dragon suplex. Oh. That's it, folks. Beautiful. Here's your dragon winner. suplex from Let's Samoa Joe. To UPW you. heavyweight champion. That was Samoa beautiful. Joe. That's right. He keeps it. He's able to retain the UPW world heavyweight title. That awesome move. Showing, showing his international experience right there. Like that. Well, folks, was that a match or what? Samoa Joe retaining his UPW's heavyweight championship. Maybe next time, Outlaw Mike Knox, but Doc, the whole hour's up, isn't it? We're out of here now, aren't we? That's right. Well, that means we gotta thank the sponsors. Go ahead, Doc. Well, UPW Live is brought to you by National Sports Grill and Silver Star Casting Company. Doc, we're gonna be back next week, but what are the folks gonna see? Well, next week, of course, we're going to have more great action for you, but we're also going to take a special look at the UPW Shoe Fighting Champion, Tom Howard. That's right, folks. Each and every Saturday night on KDOC-TV, it's UPW Live. I love it.